Good evening. This is uh, Dave Herman, alias Daz, the artist. It's uh, kind of late tonight. It's 9.48. Uh, so I'll draw it till about uh, 9.58, my 10-minute daily sketch on October 4th, 2017, uh, in Olympia, Washington. So I've got a blue jay in a fractal world. He's in the multiverse. Found himself just, you know, he's out there flying around, and lo and behold, he found himself in the multiverse. <laughs> so I've set up brush five, and we've taken the bristles at 50%, and we've dialed them in at 31% size. And we're going to make those even a little bit smaller, say about 25% size. I'm going to do some bristle work just so you can see how you can be like dry brushing. See some of this. If you were making a bird, and uh, then you can come back with a lighter color over that, just so you can see. We're going to dial this brush down. We're going to build up the eye in that area. It has like a white eye kind of. So we're going to kind of dial this in. A little bit around the white around the eye let's do that and take it up here a little bit there fluffy a little fluffiness up here some strokes you can see how we get the feather look now I'm just gonna play around a little bit with this tonight so you can see some of that if I was developing this uh, in its entirety to finish art this would take you know 30 hours but I started one out just so you could kind of see how I build this by selecting and creating a brush in Verve Painter. Now Verve Painter is without a doubt an amazing program and the more you play with it the more you're gonna relish using it. Um, I find it fascinating uh, it's a fractal-driven program written by Taryn. Taryn's out in Croatia. Uh, we've made contact over the Internet over the years, uh, last four or five years. Taryn and I have become uh, kind of Internet friends uh, as artists, and uh, he tolerates my questions, and actually he has modified his software a lot of times to help myself and other artists achieve certain things that we're after because this program while we dabble in it from time to time is evolving more and more and more and Taryn is definitely a genius uh, he's the one who's created um, Verve Painter from scratch and he's the one that constantly devotes his time for free to people being able to use Verve Painter so we're putting some strokes here and there just so you can see them and you know this can be taken a million ways so this is a start now if I was out of this brush go to brush one in my airbrush and darken an area like in here if I wanted to or if I wanted a little more solid in the eye you know I can do this if I want to bring this down open up the eye I can do that. So uh, I'm just playing here to show you some of these possibilities and how I work uh, back and forth when I create, like everybody. Uh, nothing special in this video that's unusual, you know. It just oh, so that's a smudge. We don't want that smudge. You get one take back per layer. <laughs> <laughs> and to do that again I will go back to brush 5 and set say bristles a little bit less bristles and the size of the bristles so you're actually creating a brush you're creating the number of hairs in a brush and then you're creating uh, how thick each hair is and so that gives you these textures see what I'm doing there uh, I don't really care if this bird's perfect or not. The, the point is to show uh, the way you can create texture. And if you wanted to create these hairs, 
you know, that you get with a brush, you can do that. And this is just one of a million settings. Uh, the settings are infinite. <clears throat> if you wanted to highlight edge uh, of this eyelid, for instance, because it does stand out in the actual bird, you can just, you know, go back over. You can work your layers like in Photoshop. And you can save this as a JPEG, as a ping, and move it into Photoshop and stuff. So uh, as I get to the year end, I, this year has been a really crazy year for me, as always as an artist. Uh, I just think I'm going to do something, and I end up doing something else, and then I get sidetracked, and I do something else, and I work on my book, and then I work on my paintings, and I work on my PCB art. Um, because that's the way my mind works. I have no control for that. <laughs> it is one crazy artist mind. For all my friends that have known me my lifetime, they know it, it's a fleeting thing and you have to rein it in. It's not because we're scatterbrains. It's because uh, we have so many interests. And th these last few years, I've been perfecting a lot of them. So I'm just playing with this. Let's put a little speckled highlight there like that, a little bit of the hair, and we're working up ahead, see? So, yeah, now if you wanted to actually shape a bird out of this, <laughs> because I've got so much going on there just to show you, you can do that. So we'll, we'll shape a little bit of the bird. We'll get some of that going. Let's go up to brush nine and uh, darken up some of this here. Just chop in there which I would put hairs over again. I'm going to take this down in size. Uh, there we go. Let's get this brush and kind of chop in here a little bit. And then up in here. And then bring into, work into this. And then I would have some of this going on here. And my boy's in the multiverse, so... I would, you know, I can even create like this if I wanted and squiggles and stuff. You can do whatever you want uh, as a fine artist and as a creative guy just messing around with these things. And that's what I'm showing you. You can just play. And you've ever painter, sometimes I don't have an agenda. You know, like I'm not trying to create something special. I'm just showing you how you can mess around with these programs. This is mess around with, just because... Sometimes I like to get out of my box uh, and just not know what I'm doing. And see, now I can shape this into feathers. Um, we're a little bit heavy there, but that's okay. So we'll come back and uh, we'll lighten this up a little bit. And then we'll start shaping a feather. Some gray work. You know, you can see you can come right back over that. And then if you wanted a bolder, like a separation, there's a separation in the front of the head. You can come up through the middle like that. And you can do lots of stuff uh, without specific agendas. If I wanted blue on the beard, uh, the mustache of the bird, the blue jay, he's got like a little blue tuft uh, above the beak. Let me get this color right. So I might even... Just come over here and add some blue hairs, you know. They could be lesser dense, not as bright. So I change that, but just showing you how to play with these. If you like to have fun, Verve Painter is definitely a way to go. Then I might have a nice blue highlight in the front of this. So let me uh, get some blue. Whoa, cursor, where are you? There we go. And we're in brush nine. We're going to make this big enough so I can see this freaking cursor. There we go. And I might even just do something like this. Where there's a touch of sky in his eye. And then I would come back with white. And uh, hit that. Could have a big burst like that. You could say, well, that's too much. Uh, put some black in there so you can come back in. Just so you play around, be creative. You know, if you want to show a little bit of the earth in the eye, then you would come.